Good afternoon. This is Jenny Flores at Taikon 2019. I am with Hazik Kazi, a very special young gentleman who um, has blown my mind um, just by speaking with him uh, moments ago. And I want to share his story with you. And so, Hazik, tell me, you made something very special that could benefit us all. So tell me about that. First of all, it's a pleasure being here. And so uh, I've created a ship. It cleans the oceans. It's called Ervis. So it is pra it's practically it's an intelligent ship that sucks away from the ocean surface and cleans the oceans. What made you, a young man a, 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 of 13, decide to build a ship? Well, it started a few years back. I was watching some documentaries on the plastic waste problem and I realized like, uh, how plastic is affecting our um, or aqu aquatic biomes and like how it affects life. Like around a million birds die because of pla uh, eating plastic every year. So I knew I had to do something. I, sh I, I thought that I had to do something about this. So at that time in our school, there was this thing called the Ted Clubs. So this, uh, the Terret Clubs had told us that we should do something that is close to our heart and come up with ideas. So did you gather what the magnitude of this problem was for you? Meaning? How did this plastic waste, how did it affect us and all of us? Well, there is, Oh, well, a lot of people eat fish, like around 40% of the world's population rely on fish as its main source of proteins. So when plastic eat, uh, sorry, when fish eat the plastic, uh, it comes in the food chain. So we end up eating the same fish that had eaten our plastic that is discarded. So essentially, we are eating what they're consuming yeah. and so it's affecting us. Yeah. Okay. So... Kazik, tell me this wonderful ship. Can you take it apart? Walk me through what the compartments look like. It looks like a spaceship to me. Well, it was a few. It was a bit futuristic in the start. Yeah. So yeah. So what does that compartment do? Uh. Okay. Whoops. So. So, these this, these are the saucers that. So they rotate, uh, so it falls on the surface of the ocean. So these saucers, they rotate to create a whirlpool that sucks plastic and water to the surface, uh, uh, to the center, and it is sent through a tube in, into the ship. So, so there's this tube here that goes from here to here. Yeah. So that it takes, okay. Yeah, and then the uh, plastic uh, is uh, go, uh, goes up this conveyor belt, which is then whoops, uh, which is then uh, compacted and stored. I see. And so, and then the water is sent out while oil slicks because it's more dense, uh, in less dense than water, it uh, gets segregated. So okay, I feel like I just took a science and engineering course in one minute that you've just spoken. So let me, let me just kind of walk this through in my head. You've taken a plane ship, applied a whirlpool... whirlpool Thought on it, <laughs> thingy, <laughs> and um, and uh, get a, a, a more of a um, suction of the garbage into a compartment, trash compacted and yes. stored it. So now you can take it to land for recycling, or recycling, or and so. Like forth. And then oil is segregated because of density. Brilliant, brilliant. So, what do you think? And how will you take this from this step? This is a model. How, where would you take this to make it into a live ship? Something that is tangible, something that we can build, something that I assume will benefit us all as a human race. Well, right now, as you can see, it's a 3D model. It's not uh, fully automated. Um, so we are working towards automating the waste capturing mechanism or so it's called, to so that it actually works, and then after uh, after some time we're doing an actual body uh, water body testing, so we can see if it actually works, 
and within two years we plan to make an actual prototype so uh, this benefits us because there's a lot of plastic in the uh, aquarium biomes along with landfills and only 10 percent of plastic gets recycled so this um, say uh, taking back plastic and recycling can save about like 26 billion dollars in the global gdp all i know is for a simple person like me taking plastic from the ocean saving the marine lives right the ecosystem there and our our just our planet even if it's helping one percent is an amazing feat and so i think the next step for you we ha you'll have to think bigger which means you'll have to think about who will help you build this system test it and get it into production get it to run in our oceans and i hope that happens very quickly what is your long-term goal uh well is to cre uh, of course there's this to create a ship and also i've been uh, lately i've been educating children about the plastic waste crisis and i also plan uh, to since children are easy to like they understand about the plastic waste problem right so i plan to uh, teach a lot of children so that they understand about plast about plastic and then don't make the uh, make a lot of mistakes for like dumping it in the ocean so um so i hope to do i i hope to do that and of course the ship so the goal looks like it's two forms not actually solving the actual problem but educating our young generation to understanding what we're doing to the world that's correct. Wow. What a brilliant mind. I can't say that I am a mo his mom, but I'm super proud at this very moment and very excited for him. So thank you so much for being here with us. And I look forward to seeing you in the news and bigger names for you in the future. Okay.